since 1966. This is NBC4's News Conference with Conan Nolan, Southern California's longest running public affairs program. On this edition of News Conference, as California opens up, COVID transmissions and hospitalizations are again increasing, resulting in a new state mandate for everyone to wear a mask outside the home. Can it be enforced? And have officials lost their leverage with the public? We talk with Governor Gavin Newsom. Police reform is being debated in Washington, Sacramento, and City Hall. We talk with California Attorney General Javier Becerra about his own proposals. Among the Supreme Court victories for California leaders this past week, a de facto upholding of the sanctuary state law, a challenge to which the high court chose not to hear. We talk with the author of that legislation, former State Senate President Pro Tem and incoming L.A. City Councilman Kevin DeLeon, and representatives from three different Los Angeles organizations, including the Urban League talk about public safety, efforts to help communities of color in the COVID-19 crisis, and whether a return to affirmative action to be used in college admissions and state contracts should be placed before voters. Good morning and welcome to the Tom Brokaw News Center here at Universal City. I'm Conan Nolan. Thanks for joining us. First up, Gavin Newsom, the 40th governor of the great state of California. So, Governor, thanks for taking the time. Let's talk about this order for the mandatory usage of face masks while people are out in public, even outside if social distancing isn't possible. Why now? Yeah, I think that's it's the right question. I think there is some amnesia. Some have developed. Uh, people have just sort of had enough. Uh, and they see others out on the streets. There's like, okay, I'm going out on the street. They're starting to show up at neighbors and friends' house they haven't seen in months, or extended family members they haven't seen in months. And uh, they're hugging folks, and they're sitting right next to uh, uh, individuals at birthday parties they otherwise wouldn't. So we're seeing that mixing. Look, we're not out of the first wave. Uh, we talk a lot about the second wave. Remember, in 1918 uh, pandemic, the second wave uh, hit much harder than the first wave. We're seeing states all across this country, at least roughly half the states, an increase in the total number of positive cases. That includes the state of California. California, voting this with bluster, trying to divide this community, trying to scare our, our diverse communities, particularly uh, immigrants uh, and uh, from uh, particularly Mexico. Let's just be candid because when we talk about immigration policy, we know exactly who uh, President Trump's talking about. Uh, and uh, the fact is, he failed. Uh, he failed earlier this week uh, on another decision relating to sanctuary policy to advance his cause. Uh, over and over and over again, uh, the state of California has been successful in defending its values, defending its diverse communities. We've been involved in over 70 lawsuits. The vast majority we have won, including at this conservative United States Supreme Court. Finally, this being a political program, if Kamala Harris is selected as Joe Biden's running mate, and if that ticket wins in the fall, you will need to appoint her replacement in the U.S. Senate. Uh, have you considered who you that want, might... You want the job? You want the job? <laughs> I think have, you, have you considered who that might be, and would you appoint yourself? Have you, have you thought about this? Not even a second. If you have ideas, if that is a scenario that takes shape, uh, I imagine uh, that uh, there's a long list of people that want that job, and I can guarantee you I'm not on that list. I had to ask, Governor, thank you very much uh, for taking the time. <laughs> Take care. Thanks for having me. One of those individuals who could be on that list was, is California Attorney General Javier Becerra, who joins us now. So uh, since we're on the topic, would you accept an appointment to be the first Hispanic senator from California? You know, Conan, that's, uh, I love what I'm doing, and I want to make the biggest difference I can for my country and my state. I, I'm not going to give you a yes or no, because that's, that's a hypothetical. And why speculate when I'm having a great time beating Donald Trump in, in the Supreme Court on DACA, on census? Uh, Helping LGBTQ members of uh, of America, I just, you know, I've got enough to keep me very busy. Uh, let's first move to help elect someone like Joe Biden president, and then we'll see from there. Let's talk about some of your proposals for police reforms: a ban on chokeholds, de-escalation strategies, uh, intervention policies, so that other officers must step in to stop an unlawful use of force. But you have others we haven't seen, like shooting at a vehicle. Can't a car be a weapon? That's correct. But if a, a vehicle is moving away from you, 
you have to, we have to think again as a society, is it good policy to have our law, law enforcement officers shooting at that moving vehicle, understanding that if those uh, uh, rounds of ammunition miss the target, where will they end up? You want to also uh, change the way canine officers employ uh, strategy, uh, uh, their bite and hold techniques, and instead ha have them use find and bark, uh, comprehensive use of force reporting and investigations. What's been the response from law enforcement? Actually, I'm, I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised and, and gratified with some of the responses I'm hearing from sheriffs, chiefs of police, and rank and file officers. Uh, I would say this, I think we can be proud that in California, we're ahead of the game on most of these things. We still got work to do. There's no doubt about that. We still have to do these investigations on these recent deaths that we found in Palmdale and Victorville uh, relating to the hanging of a couple of young men, both African-Americans. Uh, but I'm going to tell you that the, our agencies have implemented some of these best practices already. We're going to do more. And I believe uh, folks in law enforcement understand and are going to respond to the righteous demands of people who are out there protesting peacefully. California Attorney General Javier Becerra, thank you very much for taking the time. Thanks, Glenn. Next up, former state Senate leader Kevin DeLeon on California's sanctuary state law, which the Supreme Court decided not to hear when we return.